Hey guys, it is me, Siri Tsaro Himichi, and I'm here with another episode of Breeding Bad Fanfiction. Uh, this one today is called Snape Meet the Teletubbies. Oh boy, this one is going to go real bad. Oh god, because I... Okay, so I found this when I was looking on a list of fa bad fanfictions, and this one actually ended up being on one of the lists. I will link you guys to the story in the description, so you guys will find it. But, yes, this story is notoriously, um, I just heard the story is notoriously bad, so. I'm gonna read you guys the summary. Alright. Okay. Snape is having trouble getting, getting to his classes, and he has trouble with some thing on the way. Let's just say... The, the Martyrs. And it's by Christy V. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna go awful. So, this one is based... So, I'm pretty sure this one is just a an exclusive one-shot. So, yep. So, here's the show. This fan fiction. Let's get on with it. Oh god, this one's gonna be so bad. So bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. <laughs> because every time you mix in Teletubbies... With another, with another thing, whether it's Harry Potter or something else, you know the result is going to be quite horrendous. Let's be honest. Okay. Snape meets the Teletubbies. <laughs> Let's go. This had, this had to be the worst day Snape had experienced in his life, which was a very long time. And he had experienced quite a lot of terrible things. He was going to be late for his potions class. The only, the only, the one class that if he messed up, he would be humiliated for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I don't know. Oh god. The class with those, hum with menacing boys, aka James and co, he was running as fast as he could, not looking where he was going. If he had been paying attention, he would have heard someone say, Polonius Ardagas. Unfortunately, being the stupid idiot that he was, he ran into the plot hole. <laughs> Normally, a plot hole would be an easy thing for a wizard to fix, but this, that, this is Snape. Okay, then. So, of course, it couldn't be done. To his dismay, he found himself where the grass was, where the grass was greener, the sky was blue, was a beautiful, clear blue, and the sun had a smiley face. Oh no! I don't want the smiley the the, the the sun with the smiley face always creeped me out when I watched Teletubbies. I used to watch that show when I was a kid, and that 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 smiley face on the sun always used to creep me out for some reason. <laughs> Then again, I'm not sure what's more, I don't know, I'm not sure what's more menacing. Boats with faces, trains with faces, or a sun with a face? Someone, give me a thought. He stared at the sun for a moment until he stared, started to see spots turning into hot pink fluffy bunnies. Why is this bunnies? He shook away the hot, the, the hot pink fluffy bunnies and looked around, wondering where he should go. I think you should. Get, <laughs> I think you need to get away from there. Now, where is the potions classroom? I could have sworn I was going the right way. Snape said to himself. Just then, he spotted a screen, a green, and a red creature. They were quite strange looking. Small heads, large bodies with strange obstructions on their heads. Snape was confused at the act they were pursuing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the one with the stick obstruction on his head was thrusting the stick into the other's obstruction that seemed to be a, that seemed to be a round hole. Snape figured out figured that they were performing some sort of sexual act. <coughs> so he let them be to go over to a purple one with a inverted triangle obstruction. Excuse me, but what ex 
exactly are you? Snape asked. Me, Tinky Wink! Tinky Winky Tilly Tubby! Um, could you tell me how to get to the potions classroom? Snape asked. Hi, said the Tilly Tubby that was beginning to resemble Peter Pettigrew the more he looked at it. And immediately began hugging Snape affectionately! Oh my god! Oh no! No! Oh my god, no! No! As soon as Tinky Winky said, hug, the other Teletubbies came fluttering and hugged Snape until his ribs cracked. Ouch! I ain't gonna front, but ouch! That's gotta hurt! No, seriously. God, that shit hurts. Get off of me, you barb- <laughs> You barbantuic things! The Teletubbies' eyes started to fill with water as they looked up at Snape with puppy dog eyes, with puppy dog faces. You hurt Lala's feelings, the yellow Teletubby said. You hurt Poe's feelings, said the red one. You hurt Tinky Winky's feelings, said Tinky Winky. You hurt Dipsy's feelings, said the green one. Snape stared at them blankly for a moment, then picked up Tinky Winky by his inverted triangle. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shoot. It's gonna get bad. <laughs> listen! Listen, you prat! Tell me where the potions room is, or else! Snape threatened. Tinky Winky just gave him a grin and exclaimed, Let's make Tubby Custard and Toast! The, tel the Teletubby started chanting, Custard! Toast! Custard! Toast! In frustration, Snape used an or orgamous spell on all of them, and a liquid poured out onto the grass from their obstructions. <sighs> well, that's just bizarre. The, the, the Teletubbies jumped up and down happily. Tubby Custard! Tubby Custard! Tubby Custard! They then proceeded to lick up the custard off the ground! Oh, God. Snape looked at the custard for a moment. Hey, that looks good! He bent down and helped them lick it up. Mmm, custardy! He commented. Toast! 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 The Tilly Tubbies chanted. They were, they dragged Snape into a garden with toast flowers in it. They poured some of the leftover custard on it and treated themselves to some. Snape had a piece of self and drew extremely uncomfortable but in this lower area. Oh my god. <laughs> the Teletubbies started chanting again. Nap, nap, nap. They stated. They teleported Snape down to a room. By then, Snape was more than a little ill. He's gonna puke. Kill, he was shouting. Kill the Teletubbies. Kill the Teletubbies. Kill the Tubbies. Kill the Tubbies. Kill the Tubbies. Over and over again. For, uh, for the Teletubbies had driven him to insanity. And then... And the Vigra Toast hadn't helped much either. I hope you need badge still for that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Suddenly, the Teletubbies old angelic smiles turned into sinister grins. Oh, God, no! I'm about to have nightmares here. <laughs> oh, God! They attacked Snape, ripping and tearing his clothing apart. They said in a low, cold voice, Nap! Snape looked upon them with horror. The only words he could choke out were, Who are you? <coughs> the Teletubbies grinned and turned to their to their tummy, to their TV tummies. The martyrs' faces appeared under the TVs. Tinky Winky's face was Peter's. Poe's face was Sirius. Dipsy was Remus, and Lala was James. Goodbye, Snape. They cackled and opened up another plot hole. Throwing Snape inside. He arrived at the other side of the plot hole, twitching. A young girl came up to him and said, Hi! I'm Dora the Explorer! Would you like to help me on my journey to find the Sticky Team? No! Oh, no! Why did she show up? <laughs> no, 
Snape looked up at the sky and shouted in a silent cry. No! Oh my god! <laughs> no! The end. Author note. I have no idea what the martyrs have done to deserve this. Shakes head. I feel very sorry for them. It is Christy who wrote this. I am I am just the typist. Poor, poor martyrs. Agreed. <laughs> agree. I, I agree. Oh my god. This fan fiction was god awful. <laughs> no. Oh my god, no! You first heard the Teletubbies? That you changed them into the martyrs, the other martyrs, and then, oh god, and then you put Dora in there. Oh my god! I need, I need, so put, I need a, I need a gallon of holy water mixed in with two shots of vodka. Pour it in, <laughs> and and a table and a teaspoon of bleach, because this is how uncomfortable uh, how uncomfortable I got just by reading that. Honestly, that was just serious agony I had to go through just reading that crap. Holy crap! The martyrs did not deserve this disrespect. Oh, and if I thought that the one with that Mary Sue character was bad enough. Oh, no, Bo. Oh, 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 heck no. I've seen worse. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, this, that left a bad taste in my mouth. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed me listening to it, reading it, and you guys probably laughed at me. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in another bad fanfiction reading. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.